We were delighted to be able to extend an invitation to Rainier to host this exhibition here. His work was already well known in Charleston. For me, it's a pleasure to have um, an exhibition um, surrounded by Pina de Rio artists. And what is important for me is because I grew up in that part of the island, which is the western side of Cuba. And Pina de Rio is a very cultural um, city where most of the uh, influential and high quality artists come from. Well, Rainier is a 25-year-old artist from Cuba. Uh, he's been living in the States for about seven years, and he's continued his quest to become a serious artist, to paint about his experience as only Rainier can tell it. This exhibition represents um, a transition of a new generation in Cuba, and they are coming from artists that are 60 years old, my age, or even younger. And for me, it's a pleasure to show to all the culture, all the ethnicities about the exhibition and what these artists are about. What's very exciting about what he's put together here is the range of art practice and style that truly captures the vibrancy of the cultural community in his native community. Well, I think it's a, it's a very strong uh, art collection. It's not about the art coming from Cuba only, but it's the technique that these artists uh, work with the materials, the visions, uh, the composition. It's a very rich colors that you're seeing here, but also very strong in culture. What impresses me about Rainier's work is the consistency, continuity, creativity, and uh, uh, workmanship. This exhibition was amazing. I'm blown away, you know, not just by Rainier, but the other artists that he actually uh, band together and, and they just really put on a wonderful, wonderful event. Overall, he has a great sense of fantasy and he uses indigenous elements in his surrealism and fantasy in all of his works, but I don't think anything is more indigenous than using indigenous coffee, Cuban coffee, as a watercolor in his work. In order to pull off a series of paintings, you know, 10, 20, 30 paintings, all painted, all narrated together, is quite a feat. I'm a visual artist, and I'm focused in many different medias because I think if you, if I'm able to work with different materials, I will grow as an artist, and visually and technically as well. And then that way you will see masterworks on the coffee on paper, that would be a Cuban espresso coffee on paper, to his charcoal works on paper, to outstanding oils on very fine art linen. You can paint huge, large mammoth paintings or very small, exquisite paintings, and sometimes even using a quill pen. So every time I approach a new series, any time I approach a new concept of painting, I will start from the drawings work some paper like the coffee paintings, watercolors, and then finally create a massive body of oils paintings. And that is the cycle of my, my creation. Putting his oils out there, you can see that he's dynamic, he's talented, he is full of creation. It's just taking a paper, or taking an oil, or taking a canvas, and putting there not only his experiences, also life, society, and not being afraid to go beyond that. My art is a representation of my culture, and I've been developing this for almost 10 years. But own art from different artists, is mean, it means a lot, because I can learn from them. I can preserve a culture, and I can identify myself being surrounded by art. He lives with art. And he, he carries himself in such a way that he receives energy and excitement from the art, which probably has enhanced his perspective on always changing his boundaries and challenging his limits. Rainier is an artist, he's a collector, he's a businessman, and he's a teacher catalyst, all in one. For me, it's just very uh, important to create a story with my paintings. It's unity, it's partnership, it's teamwork, it's society, it's political, it's 
everything that's happening out there now, but put it in a beautiful way that I think anyone would love to see it in their worlds, in their galleries. Yes, because you're giving the viewers a different, a different experience from the traditional art. And that's how I grow as an artist as well. By where I live, where I come from, where I am right now, and where I'm gonna be in the future. So this is an artist that's not gonna let himself be defined. You will begin to recognize his styles and techniques, but whether he's dealing with representationalism, expressionism, contemporary works or modernistic reflections, or regionalism, or culturalism, you will begin to recognize that they are Minerajanis. So my plan in the future is to travel with this collection and to be everywhere so people be aware of what is uh, um, Cuban art.